Welcome back to Savor the Flavor. All right, chef, it's time for our entree. Okay, well, we're gonna use these tenderloins in a more savory dish. Uh, we're gonna do some risotto, some wild mushrooms. We're gonna roast the tenderloins in the oven, and it's gonna be more of a woodsman style right. uh, risotto. Okay, so what are we getting started with? Let's we'll get started with our risotto. It's gonna take the longest for this dish. So we'll get that going and then move over to seasoning our, uh, our tenderloins here. Let's do it. So we're gonna start off with uh, some butter. Mm -hmm. Just a little bit. Yeah, yeah, I saw last time how much we used. You know, I've noticed that your house wine is one of the few places that does serve risotto. Well, why do you use it? Well, you know, I personally, I love risotto. Uh, I think that uh, a lot of people often confuse risotto for a pasta. Yeah. Uh, because of its creamy texture, mm -hmm. it's got a lot of versatility. You can add, we're gonna add some uh, some of these wild mushrooms. Uh, we do butternut squash at the restaurant. You can do chicken, put a variety of sauces on it and treat it like a pasta. Right. Uh, and it just gives people different options. Our onions caramelized there. We're gonna add the risotto, or the arborio rice, rather, and toss it around a little bit. So you get a little coat. Uh huh. Of butter on there. Look at that. Add about about that much stock, and then we want to move it around, uh, break up the starches. We're not necessarily breaking the rice. It's a short grain rice. It's not going to break. Right. Uh, but you want it to release that starch again to achieve a creamy consistency. Okay. So I'll check on this periodically. It's going to take about 20, 25 minutes. Okay. Uh, we'll get started seasoning the meat here. Let's do it. Uh, Let me uh, start putting a little bit of this. Out of the way. We're gonna start with some horseradish. It's gonna add a nice spicy element uh -huh. to our marinade. And this is chopped rosemary. Chopped rosemary. So add some rosemary. How about how much? That's probably about a tablespoon right there. Mm -hmm. uh, we're gonna add some chopped garlic. You're looking at about eight to ten cloves right there. Okay. And we'll add some olive oil. And we're gonna season it with also some salt and pepper. Again, if you have a favorite steak seasoning that you like. You can use that as yeah, well? Yeah, use that. Okay. Uh, and tell me, these, these uh, the venison and the auric were both locally acquired. That's right. That's right, just north of San Manuel. My, uh, my cousins are avid hunters. And uh, I'll tell you what, it's a treat to actually be able to, to have these cuts of meat here because truth be told, Hunters like to keep these yeah. these pieces for themselves. Well, these are the pr you know these are the prize pieces. Absolutely, right I think if we wanted some more of these, you and I probably have to go out and, and, and go get, and us get one something ourselves. ourselves. <laughs> Which isn't a bad idea. You know what? I was uh, I was actually thinking about that, knowing that uh, I know you do or you used to do quite a bit of hunting. Yeah. Um, we should totally do that. Just take the kitchen outdoors. Sounds like fun. There's nothing better than cooking outside. That would be a good choice. All right, so the risotto's looking good. What we'll do is we'll just drop these in. Mm -hmm. Roll them around, get a nice, nice, and nice coat on there, them. Yeah. yeah, pat them in there. Now the whole purpose of the searing is to kind of seal it up and That's then not it. let the moisture, right. when you put it in the oven, uh, uh, you caramelize all your ingredients on the outside, you sear the outside, and you end up with just a much uh, a nicer, right. more moist piece of meat. We're gonna oil up this iron skillet here. All we're gonna do is sear these uh, tenderloins and then throw them down in the just oven. Just to keep our juices in there. That's it. Oh, that's beautiful. Ooh. All right, well, I think it's a, it's a good place to take a little break here okay. while we continue searing these. When we come back, we'll probably be ready to put them in the oven. All right. All right, let's take a break. We'll be right back. <laughs> 